Hello YouTube, it's me again, the Arctic Pipe. Today I'll be talking about loading my pipes and how I load my pipes. Well, I start out with my tobacco. This is my Mac Baron Honey Chocolate that I always seem to be smoking because I have a lot of it. I have matches. I usually light with matches. Blah. Can't speak. Matches. Tamper. And of course, the pipe. Uh, this pipe has actually I smoked this pipe in my last video. Uh, I'm actually not going to be smoking uh, this pipe in this video, mainly because I can't be smoking in this household. So this is just kind of a loading the pipe demonstration on how I load my pipe. Um, I had never really mentioned too much about this pipe besides I bought it at my local tobacco shop, but it's a Rossi Vittoria. It's kind of like a lower class Savinelli. Savinelli makes these pipes, and if it doesn't match to their standards, um, they put this label on it. And it becomes uh, a Rossi pipe, um, which is a great, this is a great smoker. So it's like kind of like a affordable upper class pipe, so you will. Um, and I love smoking this pipe, obviously. I'm sure many of you that follow me on Instagram know that I love smoking this pipe. But I don't smoke it too often. I smoke it, you know, all the way out. But I smoke this pipe a lot. It's a huge, super huge bowl. Um, and so right now I'm baking brownies, it'll take about a half hour, so I was like, you know what, I'll load this pipe up and smoke it. I won't, again, I won't smoke it in this video, but I'll smoke it after the video. This video is all about loading the pipe. Well, let's get started. So, I get really lazy when loading a pipe. A lot of pipe smokers, they go through this whole intensive process, and yes, I watch many of how to load a pipe videos that are out there on YouTube when I was first starting to learn a couple years ago. Um, but I eventually became kind of lazy, and you kind of get into like an old routine on loading your pipe, and it works for me pretty well. Um, you know, I usually have it, you know, as a Ziploc bag, and actually I have most of my tobacco in like mason jars, where actually it keeps longer, but this is kind of like my all the time use, so I put it in the Ziploc bag, uh, move it in there. So I take my Ziploc bag out, I take my pipe, put it into the Ziploc bag, kind of like scoop up the tobacco and get it in there and then I take up my fingers and I just kind of stick it in there you know ever so gently kind of push it down use like a middle finger put it down not too packed or it's going to block up the hole in the bottom won't have a good airflow when you're Drawing the pipe. Now you take a draw. Little bits of tobacco coming through there. A little loose, I guess. But definitely I can draw. The important thing is that you want to be able to draw air through the pipe. If you're not drawing air, then you won't be able to smoke it. Well, then sometimes, or sometimes I'll take pinches. I'll put a pinch of tobacco in there. I just kind of stick it in there, you know. Kind of put it down, maybe use a pointer finger. I kind of get it in there, lightly tapping it in there, making it, you know, so it fits all nicely. Well, it smells really good. Super chocolatey. Definitely, again, the Mac Baron Honey and Chocolate Blend is like a dessert blend. It's a very sweet aromatic. And it actually tastes, as it says, it tastes like kind of like a dark baker's chocolate mixed with a little bit of honey. So it's almost like you're smoking a brownie, you know? <laughs> as funny as that sounds. So a good draw. I have like maybe three quarters full of the bowl in there. So, you know, I'll take a little more tobacco. Um, and put it in there. And I just kind of tamp around with my finger a little bit. So it gets all nice in there. Take another pinch. Put it in. Tap it down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And usually I get about that full. Do another draw test. Good draw. I call it good. 
Um, may do another video later on how I light my pipes. Again, I use wooden matches. This happens to be the diamond brand. You know, you can get the grocery store in large amounts pretty cheaply. Um, also, I may do like a thumb tap to make sure it's in there nicely. Another draw test. Pretty good draw. And, they're ready to be smoking. Happy smoking, all y'all.